In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Go High Level to create a blog for your website. Now, it's very, very easy. So if you're already a Go High Level user and you have seen the new blog feature, then this video is for you because I'm going to take you step by step through the process. Even if you are not a Go High Level user and you have been thinking about starting a blog, I would highly recommend using Go High Level to do that because it is such an easy system to set up and you create yourself a beautiful marketing ecosystem where you don't just utilize your blog to establish that credibility out there, creating really good quality leads to your website and obviously have that, author that authority out there. But also, most importantly, you can have a beautiful marketing ecosystem that drive the leads and create the sales, etc. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy Nicholson, and this channel is about providing you with tips and tricks to start, grow, and scale your online business today. Before I dive into this, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so YouTube can favor me a little bit more and I can drive more traffic to my channel. So let's do this. Let's dive into this. I'm going to share my screen with you and I'm going to show you the Go High Level system. When you log onto your Go High Level account, you go to sites and under sites you will find blogs. Now, this is obviously we're going to set up, manage, and distribute your blog content. So if you have not done this yet, this is the first thing that you're going to see because this is helping you to actually set up your blog. And this is what this video is all about. Now, if you already have a blog article, this is great because it's going to help you to just paste it in there. You can copy and paste it and get it in there. Personally, what I do is I have a Google folder with all my blog content and I just, I love to use Google because it actually, you know, you can plug in Grammarly and you can just make sure that there's no grammar and spelling errors. And then you can just obviously paste that in the actual blog publishing content side of things. All right. So what's the first thing that we need to do? You need to create a funnel or a website to post your blog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, do, I'm doing everything from scratch. You can see how fast this actually is to set up. So on the sites, obviously you have websites. So I'm going to open websites in a different tab. So we can just go back and forth between these two tabs. So under this one, under websites, we are going to create a new website. So I'm just going to say new. I'm just going to say for the purpose of this example, blog and create website. Then we're going to add a page and we're just going to call it blog again. And I'm just going to call it blog, keep it simple, purpose of this example, and create new page. So I'm just going to say use, create from blank, make it easy. And obviously, if you already have a template, please do use it because it will help you a lot. And then it's going to open how you would literally create a website. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to call in a, a section. Now, obviously, you want to call this something. So I'm just going to call it here awesome blog post blowing minds something fun and then the next thing you want to do is you want to add another section because this is the first part you will see once we publish it once we publish it how it's going to look so you're going to add a section and then over here when you add a row you can choose one or two columns or whatever let's just say one column and you add an element and then it's going to say blog post list. Now, even if we said one column, it shows three. But what you do is, if you only want showing one at a time, you just post one. I'll show you how that works. Anyway, so this is how this looks like. So now you've got this created, okay? So now we want to save that. I'm just going to call it blog, blog, and make sure that it's saved. The next thing you want to do is you want to link this up to an actual domain name. So you, we will do that next step. So let's go back to the blogging. Now we've created this. Uh, let's see here. If I go to settings, again, I'm going to open another tab. Under settings, you're going to go to domains. This is my dummy account. So it's easy because I've already got it set up. So I've already got this domain name pulled in here. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, okay, this is the blog that I've created, the blog, uh, that one there, the blog blog, and I'm just going to save that. Then I'm going to go back to over here. I'm going to go out of this completely. Okay. 
I'm going to go to settings, search for my domain name. I'm going to put that in and I'm going to save it. Oh, okay. I've already got something connected to that. That's all right. So when I go to another link and I'm going to say podcast, initialmarketing.co. It's saying awesome blog post, blowing minds, exactly what we said, right? So now you can see it says no blocks found here, which is fine because we haven't set it up yet. So now we're going to go back to your actual blog. I'm going to close that now because we don't need that. I'm going to close that because we don't need that. So let's go over here. So now you want to start by creating a blog. I'm going to call this um, blogging is fun. Now do look that there is no grammarly spelling things here okay so if you're not very good with spelling and grammar I do recommend to use in third party like google docs or word or whatever and paste things in here okay so I post this blog and then I'm gonna just change the image I've just got one image in here this is my dummy account and then you can create that post so now it shows you this. And this is what I was saying in the beginning. If you already have your blog article, it's so nice to just come in here and then just type it in. So if I go type like this, again, it does not show me grammar and spelling. Okay, so I do recommend to make sure that you have it outside of this and you can just paste it in to make sure that you've got it sorted. And this is basically how it looks like. And you type it in, whatever you want. You can add pictures. So this is very standard if you compare it to other blog things. Okay, it's very, very standard. And then there's different fonts that you can use. It's it's sizing, it's graphics, oh, sorry, paragraphs. And then you also have links that you can add in. And also just remember one thing, you want to have a call to action on your blog. It is important because you want to drive good traffic. If you want to say to them to book a call or to buy this thing, give them value in this article and then drive this to a sale. It's important to have that call to action or even draft them to a YouTube video or whatever that call to action is that you want them to have. And then obviously you can add a picture. You can see all these things on the right hand side. You can ins insert a video. It is really, really fantastic. Okay. And then you save that. And then obviously on the right hand side here, you will see that there's a publish button. So if you don't actually go and physically publish this, it's not going to publish it. Okay. So we're going to go, we're going to publish it. And then on the left-hand side, I'm going to say blogging is fun. This is the slug that it created from the previous thing that we've put in. And then category, let's create, let's just say podcasting. And over here, you can just add new categories and you can add new slugs. This is quite explanatory, self-explanatory. You don't have to go crazy here. I'm just going to call it podcasting. I'm going to use that type image and I'm just going to go, yes, this is awesome. And let's just call it podcasting too. And then add a new category. Oh, um, I'm just going to say podcasting too. Okay. Just play with it. And then obviously keywords. Now it says optional, but we know how important keywords is. A top tip for using keywords. If you don't want to use um, YouTube's, I have a brain flop. If you don't want to use YouTube's TubeBuddy, there's another one called Keywords Everywhere. I use it. Big fan of it. It's really fantastic and super affordable. I would highly recommend it. But keywords is very important. And obviously you want to put your name in. And then on the right hand side here, it says publish and the date you want to publish it at. So we want to do it right now, right this minute. And also high level picks this date up from the time zone that you are in based on the content that you have put in. So if I'm based in New Zealand, so for me, this is my New Zealand time zone right now. Okay, so, and then you update, and voila, Bob's your uncle, and it's right there. Now, let's go back to this, where we actually posted our blog, and voila, it's there. Now, like anything, really, you can play with this. You can click on it, you push on it, you can, I mean, this button, before it actually is anything, you can say blogging is fun, read more. This, you can change. This is customizable. Like, just play with it. Seriously, just play with it. it. It picks up how many minutes it is to read. You don't have to do any of that stuff. And this is just a template that literally came with the Go High Level stuff. Okay, so, and then obviously, 
you can create new blocks. You can schedule out your blocks. You can create. It's just really fun and it's really easy to use. And I mean, I've used some stuff in the past that I was like so confused. And this is just really, really easy to use. And that is literally how you create a blog using GoHighLevel. So if you have any questions or queries or you're not exactly sure what to do, please do comment below. And uh, obviously, if you are not on high level at all, please do me a favor and check out my link. I actually provide full-on training for you to get set up on the system. It's all automated, but it is really helpful and it will help you with all of these things that you struggle with. So check the link below for that and I will see you in the next video. And please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Cheers.